Okay, thank you. So, uh, my name is Jing Guihui. Uh, you call me JK. Uh, I'm not a standard biologist and a physicist, but I'm interested in it very much. Uh, so I'm going to talk about my idea of uh, the standard biology. Uh, many of us, uh, many of you have presented some very funny, interesting ideas. Uh, it's very complex, and they need many, many genetic circuits. So here I want to say something about the, the design principle of the complex the organisms, that is modularity. <coughs> uh, so let's ask a question. Uh, how many, how many logic gates in this chip? Yeah, me. It could be one million or even more. But imagine if you put one million, the genetic circuits in one organism, what will happen? Nothing, it must work. Why? Because this genetic circuit is not modular. They work depend each depend on each other. Uh, so, so here I argue that the design principle for this complex the scenario organisms should be modular. The, or you can say that uh, we need some universal modular genetic gate, genetic circuit. <coughs> One of my friends uh, is. They designed a, a genetic uh, circuit that can control the price of a GFP. But then when it changed to YFP or, or other molecules, it doesn't work. Why? Because the genetic circuit is not independent. It de depends on the downstream genes. So it doesn't work when it changes to other molecules. So the basically a modular universal the genetic circuit should be independent. It's a downstream genes should work in all organisms, not only E. coli, and many other organisms, and also should be independent of temperature or pH values. And uh, only with that, we could uh, design real complex and useful organisms. Okay, thank you. Cool.